Solar Nation. Divine Nation. Divine Nature. It's a quick one right now. I'm going to make a couple of videos today. This one. A quick one. Race wars. Race wars. Racial wars. Racial conflict. Conflict. Racism. Based on race. Based on racial disposition. I was having this discussion with my housemate today. We were just speaking about a few things and it was beautiful and it's inspired me to come ahead and make this transmission now. We're seeing a lot of things happening in the world that apparently on the surface seems to be one race oppressing against another. In fact, throughout history we've seen these things. You could just take for an example the Caucasians go into Africa or uh, America and conquering the black people or the Native Americans, the Indians and you could see that as you know one race going and perpetrating against another and on a level that's what it is yeah that's just the most surface basic aspect of it again this is a beautiful analogy is the iceberg always a perfect analogy is the iceberg the tip of the iceberg is huge to our to our vision as a human being but then if we are able to submerge beneath the ocean from a distance we see there's so much more to the iceberg than we can perceive above the surface and so it is with these race wars and these racial attacks these seeming killings police shootings of black men and killing of black women nubian men and women in the states and all other kinds of things that are happening around the world One thing we have to come to recognize and realize in our maturity as a unifying, ascending realm is this. The forces that are at work behind these so-called attacks and killings and perpetrations have no interest or care in racial disposition. It's not about race. There are elements of racial targeting that occur for various reasons which we may get into in different transmissions but they don't care about race we can take the force that would go and kill people and conquer them and pillage and rape and destroy we can take that as evil or even satan now it's said that satan is not an adversary of flesh and blood but of principalities and forces okay so in all of existence we have a whole spectrum, a whole range of energetic potentials to be enacted. And Satan could be said to be the so-called negative element and aspect of that spectrum of energy which can be enacted. So, when we hear people saying things like, I don't know, for example, the white man's the devil and all of this it's not as such about the white man being this or the black man being that or the blue man being this or the red man being this or the green man being this it's not that at all you know it's more so about the propensity to a certain exposure to an energetic frequency to a range of energy you see but goodness the potential for the highest good and the lowest evil the greatest evil exist within every single one of us every single one of us no matter what our racial predisposition may be and again the war is not about the races There's a force at work on this plane which is dwindling and diminishing day by day, moment by moment, as we come more into our recognition, realization and remembrance of the unity, the unified field of the one that we all truly are, and seeing each other's divine reflections, divinity manifest, divine nature, this force will dwindle and is dwindling and will soon become almost not even existent in the plane of some of us, in the realm of some of us who choose to move into this harmonious and higher way of seeing, perceiving and being. 
But as we currently observe, and we see all of these things happening, we have to understand that there's a force at play that would seek to use our differences, manipulate our minds to perceive ourselves from the point of differentiation, which is a separation, which is a disunification, which is a divide and conquer. So if you can take infinite awareness, infinite consciousness, infinite beingness, God itself, and somehow trick it into believing that it is less than what it is in its high estate and bring it into its uh, extension of self, the child of its greater self, into the separation, into the limitation of itself and have it identifying with that and then program the mind to relate to itself and the world as the separate aspects of what it is as opposed to the unified aspects. You can program that mind construct to be at war with other elements of itself. And that's what we're seeing. That's what we're seeing. Principalities and forces at work. You know? Now, our biological compositions see to it that depending on the different avatar we command, the different vehicle we drive, we're more susceptible and accessible to different frequency ranges of the spectrum of energy. All right, so there are some avatars, some biological makeups based on their energetic propensities and compositions that are more susceptible and will find it more difficult to resist the temptations of the so-called seven deadly sins. There are others that it would be much more difficult for those temptations to come and sway away from the unity and the purity but each and every one of us has the potential for that and what we choose to enact is all relative to the depth and the resonance the maturity and evolution of our soul It feels silly for me to even have to make this message or to be even making this message and saying this because I, it just seems like everybody should know this. Like, why doesn't everybody know this? I know why everybody doesn't know this, but you know, it's like everybody should know this. But then again, there is no should, and if they should, then they would. But you know where I'm coming from. I guess this is just a reminder. divine reflections of one another we're all expressions of the same one the unified force that moves every single aspect and element of existence this is the, the pinnacle of us the essence of us all and we meet here in a place that far transcends all matter and mind from here things like race wars just become meaningless but we have to pull our perception and our sight and our identification out of Babylon, as words may have it termed. Babylon. <laughs> we have to take our perception out of this. Not that we can't still observe it and see it for what it is, but we've got to work to refine ourselves into the divine of ourselves and allow that to shine and melt all that is in a line and felt. That's pure harmony. Feel it, feel the harmony. I am harmony. I harmonize everything. Affirmations, confirmations, declarations, decree and creative command onto the atomic material reality.
from the highest authority. So yes, guys, race wars. Let's find out who you are beyond your temporal. Please, please do it. Please do it. Find out what is eternal and everlasting within you. Find out what the spirit is. Find out what exists beyond consciousness, beyond awareness. A bit deep, I know. But it's really not. And with this refinement of understanding, we're going to nullify and render meaningless things such as racism and race wars. And we'll really be able to eliminate, eliminate those codes and commands and spells and... aspects of self that exist within us and thereby eliminate the external reflection because the reflection in the world is just a reflection of what's going on within us so we're all intelligent we can all apply this and without making this video much longer i'm gonna sign off here thanks for joining stay tuned for more solar existence